Hey guys, my name is Chip Sound and I'm gonna be the voice of this video. Let's start! Have you ever played Need for Speed Most Wanted? I bet you did because you are now watching this video. I bet you wondered how will the game look like online. It would have been awesome if EA Black Box developers actually did an online mode. Well, they kinda did it, but it doesn't even deserve being called an online version of the game, in my opinion. Your childhood game became too old as the time went and you already finished it a dozen of times and you are getting bored of it. Isn't that true? Most Wanted Online is there to bring the fun back. Let's go! Let's talk about our history first. Uh, Not that history! So we started the development in January of 2017. Oasteverr and Janet who is not on the team anymore, have decided to code an online mode for Most Wanted. Kinda like SAMP or MTA for GTA. We made a simple server and a simple client overnight. It was pretty buggy, but it's another story that I will tell you soon. Let's fast forward a bit. We're moving into March. That was the time when Most Wanted Online Discord servers was created, gaining some popularity. At the same time, the first actual open Most Wanted Online game, which was organized, was recorded. And man, that was great. Fast forward a bit more, shall we? April. Westover finally finds a way to improve the sync of player positions, thus making the movement smooth and nice. Look! That's all about the history, really. Let's finally boot it up. The release version is 1.0. The video text is being written way before the release, so I can't tell you the changelog. It's down there in the video description. First of all, you must uninstall Hamachi, VirtualBox, VMware or turn their network adapters off. We still don't know the problem with them, but they break most wanted online and that's a fact. Have you done it? Let's go on. Download the client from our Discord server or from the description down below. Be sure to join our Discord server even if you downloaded it from the description. All further updates are only in there. Put it wherever you want, it doesn't matter for now. Okay, time to install it. Unpack the archive to the game main folder, replacing all the files. They will do nothing to your original Most Wanted installation. There's a separate game exe file and separate files in there. Um, are you done yet? Now it's time to go online. Launch mostwantedonline.exe. Press go online and enter your nickname. Simple as that. It will open the command prompt window, which isn't actually necessary for you. But if you have any problems with the game, minimize the game and screenshot the command prompt and send it to our Discord server. The most wanted online team will take care of any problems. Now, what about actually playing online? That's pretty easy, but hard to understand for a newbie. <laughs> Let me explain it entirely. I'm pretty sure you played Most Wanted in Game Ranger or Tungle previously. You had game rooms with up to 4 players, the host chose the race and y'all were rolling in an empty world. In Most Wanted Online though, this is nothing like that. You have no game rooms. You are in an open world with up to 7 players. Yes, you may think that's a bit too little. But LAN and Official Online had 4 of them, which is even worse. Looks like we went a bit off topic, so there are some tips for you. If you want to play in the race, ask people in the chat. People are not always playing. They have jobs, so you maybe will have to wait. The unwritten rule if you wanna free roam is that you run Sony's knockout race and move. You ask people to join and roll together. Not all race cars are players. Most Modern Online is actually based on a single player game. Don't forget it. So we are controlling AI racers without an AI. Also, you don't see people's actual cars, you see random ones, which is a large issue and we admit it. Oh, and by the way, 
the source code is open now, so people can contribute. The link is in the description as well. Now let's talk about the issues. There are issues, and not saying them would be unfair, even though I'll tell you only the worst ones. Alright, let's go. The first issue is the cop car sync. You don't see people's cops, the sync only synchronizes players. You won't see the police cars chasing your friend if he's getting chased. Same applies to traffic, it's different on each side. The second one, and by far the most major one, is the car model sync. You don't see which cars people have, you see them as AI race cars. I don't know what I can say about that. And that's it I think. And that's all for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope y'all will try to play online. This is Chip Sound on Oasterverse signing off. Goodbye and stay frosty.